Beauty King, and that's why we are now joined by Winfrey Owino on uh, what's trending. Good morning to you, Winfrey. I mean, uh, it's been a political weekend. It's still a political season, and um, President William Ruto was in Meru. We also do understand uh, in Tanzania, it's also a political season. Uh, the opposition leader has been was arrested on Sunday. Let's talk about Kenya first before we cross our borders. Well, Purity, good morning. Um, so over, uh, over the weekend, the president was touring the eastern side of Mount Kenya. And on Sunday, which is actually just yesterday, um, he, he was attending a church service, an interdenominational church service at Lare Stadium. I'm not sure if I've, I've got the pronunciation correct, but it's L-A-A-R-E stadium uh, where he was also joined by other senior political um, leaders um, local leaders from the region and there were so many talks there of everybody was giving out talks of how they can clip the opposition's wings um, you, you realize the opposition brought some five issues which when you look at it um, the only the setting up of the opposition leaders office is something that might come out to favor them when when they're when they're doing the talks, the bipartisan talks with, with the Kenya Kwanzaa, um, everybody has brought up issues, but the the Azimio issues come out to be very weak in the discussion. So yesterday, the deputy president actually threw a jab into the talks, and he he was saying that nobody has the authority to um, audit uh, the IBC elections. Um, he was he was actually saying um, there's no law that gives anyone that authority to do that. So basically, we are. We are just looking at how this thing will pan out, but he was saying that when he sees them bring up that issue um, in the talks, he wonders how, how really they are thinking. Then, of course, the president also came up. He said he actually reiterated his stand on um, demonstrations. He said he wants the, the opposition side to actually commit and say that they are not um, going to take part in any other demonstrations that might be chaotic, um, that may lead to loss of life, um, destruction of property, and all that. So that's actually his main stand on on that he's just trying to tell them no more manda manos mm -hmm. and he's he's saying he's ready to um to set up an office of the opposition leader and he's ready to ta take in um positive criticism so it's very interesting to see how this whole thing will come out but what is just coming out is that the president wants it to be orderly he does not want it to be something that actually comes out to affect the mm -hmm. the normal one and purity yeah, yeah. and uh, let's now cross our borders to tanzania and i would ask you this question is it an african style of uh, politics especially when it's about presidential elections must there be arrests we saw what had happened in uh, zimbabwe a lot of arrests and the opposition uh, leaders accusing the government of intimidation. Let's now get back closer home to Tanzania. Make us understand why was the opposition leader in Tanzania, Tundu Lisu, arrested ahead of the elections? Yeah. Exactly, Purity. Well, they say power is sweet and power really brings out who you really are. Power and money, they bring out who you really are. So, um, Tanzania has been very quiet politically, especially exactly. since um, Samia Suluhu took over. Things have been running seamlessly. You can even remember people throwing in comments like uh, yes. where a woman is, things are Mm -hmm. Things will move, but men will always scramble and push back and forth. And there was, at some point, they were quote unquote laughing at Kenyans when it was all chaotic, especially uh, during Mandamanos, and there were fears that you know all investments, um, investors could move to Tanzania. True. And now we are seeing this. Yeah. So um, Tundulisu is actually. He's like the main opposition leader in that yeah. country. And uh, you, you know, he, he vied in 2020 against President Magufuli and he lost. And then the, poli the political um, environment of Tanzania really got heated to a point he had to mm -hmm. flee and he went to Germany. He's been in Germany. He's been making, actually, he's been making statements here and there, but from Germany. So he came back to the country and he was planning to hold a rally with his, with his political party members, which is Chadema. And so yesterday they were, they were arrested, him and uh, three other officials of the party. They were arrested uh, for actually, they were saying um, they were preparing to hold illegal um, meetings and they also distracting police from um, conducting their duty, their duty or responsibility. So um, there's a police board, police boss who came out and gave that statement and he said that's what uh, Tundulisu had done. But uh, honestly, when you look at it, it's just a political gimmick that's, that's coming up. You know, Tanzania is also heading to elections in mm. a few 
month's time. So basically, we just see this is the campaign mood just trying to kick in. But the, we expect more definitely because he's been arrested. Of course, he'll be released. He'll make some statements. Um, people will start coming up. It's just going to, it's, it's all boiling up to the elections mm. whereby we, we all understand um, Samia Sulu who might or might not, he has not actually announced it officially, yeah, but, he, but it's highly likely that mm. he will 